Hey, happy Sunday. Hope you're having an awesome day. Okay, so yesterday I gave you some a little, some little tips and things that I learned at a seminar I was attending and, and helping out with, Leslie Nardini's Grown Up Sexy event. And today I'm going to I'm going to expand on a few things that we um, that they talked about today. So I don't know if you do this or not, but do you journal at night? Do you t do you take time, maybe get a book by your nightstand, and just write in a journal every night before you go to sleep? If you don't, you absolutely should. Okay, I started doing this several years ago. Today and yesterday, actually, we talked a lot about vision boarding and 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 goal setting and those kind of things and visualizing what you want your life or your perfect day or whatever to look like. So let me give you an idea. So I'm going to give you some ideas on what to write in your journal. So I'm going to tell you something that has happened to me. So first of all, um, you can see behind me I have vision boards. I, I kind of have a vision wall behind me. <laughs> um, I love doing vision boards. So visualizing what you want in your life is super important and it absolutely works. If you are absolutely intentional about it, you're specific, you know what you want, and you put it visually on some kind of a board or wall. Okay, so I do this daily in a journal as well. So here's some ideas. So first of all, when you're doing a vision board or you're doing a journal, I'm gonna mostly talk about journaling today. So first of all, just remember, you become what you think about. So you need to stay positive. Whatever you write, whatever you think, whatever you put on a vision board needs to be positive and something that you absolutely want. So if you think about negative thoughts all the time or negative things come out of your mouth, I'm telling you, those manifest. So you need to stop it. <laughs> I love that. Um, just stop it. So here we go. Let me tell you what's happened, first of all, in my journaling uh, endeavors over the last couple months. So a few months ago, I decided, you know what, I'm going to try something different in my journal. So I was just writing, you know, what I was grateful for for that day, my, my ta-da's for the day, things that happened that was great that day. Then what I did is I started doing this. I, I, I put the next date day's date down and I wrote in my journal as if that day had already happened, tomorrow meaning. So tonight I will write about tomorrow and what actually happened tomorrow that I visualize. So the first thing that happened when I did this, honestly, the first day I tried to do this, I wrote this. I said, you know what, I really love doing websites and I loved, I need to make a little extra money and I'd love to get um, referred to do a website. So tomorrow, and in my journal, I, I honestly wrote this. My business advisor will call and refer me to someone who wants me to create their website. And I'm not even joking. I was driving, I was going down the road, the phone rang, it was my business advisor. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And he said, I have a referral for you. I have a girl who owns a cleaning company. She needs her website done. Are you available? Honestly, I made 1100 bucks like that day. And I, had, I went back, look at my journal, and I absolutely wrote that. So it seriously, seriously can work. So here's some things you can do. You can write down, this is another thing I did, and I'm hoping this will come true. I wrote down one day, I just said, what am I going to write about? So I said, one year from today, and I wrote the date down one year ago, one year from today, and I started just writing what was happening in my life that day, where I was, I was traveling across the U.S., I was speaking, I was signing up authors, I was inspiring people and speaking to groups, and I'm on this huge Discover Your Inspiration Tour. So hopefully that will happen this summer. So what can you write in your journal that you visualize? And I'm telling you, be specific and it can come true. A lots and lots and lots of things have come true when I've done this. So here's a few other ideas. Um, let's see, I just wrote a few of these down today. So yes, Richard, um, absolutely manifest. Okay, so one of the things, I was talking to someone today that she really needs to make money, as if mo many people do. We talked about that in this seminar today as well, on ways to make money. Do this. Actually, I read this somewhere. Sit down. If you want, if you need to make some money, do this. And you have to do it in one sitting. You can't split it up into different days or whatever. You sit down and you number your paper one to a hundred and you write 100 ways that you can make money. And you need to do it, like I said, in one sitting. Don't stop. Keep going. If you run out of ideas, you just need to think and, and get creative and write as many ideas as you can. I think you'll surprise yourself. Things that will come out of your mind when you do this will blow your mind. That's one thing. Um, 
I am. This is awesome. Especially if you're feeling a little down on yourself, something happened that maybe you're not feeling as positive as you want to. Do this. Write I am and put an adjective about it. Like I am beautiful. I am smart. I am rich. I am inspiring. Think of as many things as you can that are positive and say I am. If you can get a hundred of those, that would be amazing. And I'm telling you, as you keep going, it's, you start finding yourself like lifting up and feeling so much better about yourself. So try that. I am, and make sure all the words, of course, are positive. Um, here's something. Oh, yeah, like I said, create something. Like uh, create something, uh, an idea. So come up with an idea and say, hmm, and just make it up and just start writing. Just start writing randomly. You don't even have to think about it. So goal setting is great visualizing is great um really try this thing you know pick the next day and say tomorrow this is what's going to happen but write it as if you're writing it the next day um do that for a year five years whatever you want and actually do a vision board too so i kind of put two things together here but stay positive do journaling if you're not doing it please please start i think you'll notice a huge change in your life if you do that i had an awesome day got motivated again you can't hear this stuff too often um, and I, I hope I gave you a few things that you can use. So have an awesome day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming.